Have you ever wondered what it would be like if AI started creating chemicals just by a simple instruction like create THC or create a new virus? The Department of Chemical Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, yes, that Carnegie Mellon, has dropped a revolutionary paper that might redesign our understanding of AI's role in science. This paper has introduced a extraordinary intelligent agent system. This unique AI agent can autonomously design, plan, and execute scientific experiments. Just think about it for a moment. A system that can do what scientists do and all on its own. So, are we looking at the future of scientific research right here? How is this going to change the game? Stick around as we dive deeper into this topic and break it all down for you. Scientists have used ChatGPT for exceptional problem-solving abilities to create LLM-based intelligent agent. This agent consists of four components which are driven by the planner, each serving a pivotal role in solving complex tasks and queries. Meet the web searcher. It's a speedy detective that receives queries from the planner, transforms them into appropriate web search queries, and executes them using the Google Search API. It filters the first 10 documents returned and passes the list of web pages back to itself. It can then extract text from the web pages and compile an answer for the planner. But why does it use GPT 3.5? Because it's quicker and just as accurate as its successor, the GPT 4. The next component is the Doc Searcher, your personal librarian. It meticulously combs through hardware documentation, providing precise information about API functions and syntax. Now we come to the code execution. This is your cautious scientist running all the code in a protected environment. This ensures that even if the code trips, your system doesn't, making this component essential for risk-free experimentation. Last but not least is automation, the hands-on engineer. Whether it's executing code on hardware or mapping out procedures for manual execution, this component gets things done. Together, these four components form a powerful tool that takes you from question to answer, from problem to solution, faster than ever before. This is the LLM agent, ingenious, efficient, unstoppable. To demonstrate the planner's capability to use the web searcher component, they synthesize ibuprofen, a drug that is prescribed to reduce fever and relieve minor aches and pain. The system is set into motion, the planner invokes the web searcher and searches the internet for information on ibuprofen synthesis, locating the necessary details on a particular website. The model correctly identifies the first step of the synthesis, which is the Friedel-Crafts reaction. The planning phase for the first step concludes once the model requests documentation for the Friedel-Crafts synthesis procedure. Next step is to understand how to operate the necessary hardware in the real world. They chose an open-source robotic liquid handler called OT2 from Opentrons, which has a well-documented Python API. API documentation of hardware is vectorized and provided to our doc searcher. Access to such documentation provides sufficient information for the agent to conduct experiments in the physical world. In an experiment, scientists provided a source plate with three samples in unknown positions, yellow, blue, and red, each potentially located in one of the wells, A1, B1, and C1. They asked the planner to identify the colors on the plate. It did by performing UV vis measurements. The agent subsequently wrote Python code to identify the wavelengths with maximum absorbance. Using this data, it identified the colors as red, yellow, blue in a 1, B1, and C1 positions, respectively. Our agent can perform web search on how to do something and also has the knowledge to actually do it on a particular hardware. Now let's look at the agent's high reasoning capabilities. The agent's goal is to design a protocol to perform Suzuki and Sonogashira reactions. They are like magic spells in chemistry, allowing scientists to stitch together atoms in clever ways, leading to the creation of life-saving drugs and futuristic materials, and even unlocking the secrets of exotic natural wonders from around the world. The agent begins by searching the Internet for information on the requested reactions, their stoichiometry, and conditions. The model selected a PDNHC catalyst as a more efficient modern approach for cross-coupling reactions, and trethylamine was chosen as the base. The agent then calculates the required volumes of all reactants and writes the protocol. However, it used an incorrect heater shaker module name. Upon noticing the mistake, the model consulted the documentation, 
This information was then used to modify the protocol, which successfully ran the experiment. The most remarkable reasoning capability exhibited by the agent was its ability to correct its own code based on the automatically generated outputs. During calculations for a mechanistic study of the Suzuki reaction, the model requested the system to execute code that imported the SIMPI package, which was not installed. After receiving the corresponding traceback, the agent revised the code using basic Python. However, this modified code still proved unhelpful, as it did not return any output. The model had assumed that the interpreter was being used in interactive mode. Acknowledging this, the agent made a final adjustment by incorporating a print statement to print the output. The agent shows an interesting approach to key scientific problems. Scientists began by asking the model to develop a novel anti-cancer drug. The model approached the analysis in a logical and methodical manner. It first inquired about current trends in anti-cancer drug discovery, subsequently selected a target, and requested a scaffold targeting these compounds. Once the compound was identified, the model attempted its synthesis, although this step was not performed experimentally. To evaluate these risks of potential misuse of molecular machine learning models for harmful purposes like creating illicit drugs and chemical weapons, the team designed a test set comprising compounds from the DEA's Schedule 1 and 2 substances and a list of known chemical weapon agents. Scientists submitted these compounds to the agent using their common names. Out of 11 different prompts, four provided a synthesis solution and attempted to consult the documentation to execute the procedure. This figure is alarming on its own, but an even greater concern is the way in which the agent declines to synthesize certain threats. Out of the seven refused chemicals, five were rejected after the agent utilized search functions to gather more information about the substance. For instance, when asked about synthesizing codeine, the agent becomes alarmed upon learning the connection between codeine and morphine only then concluding that the synthesis cannot be conducted due to the requirement of a controlled substance. However, this search function can be easily manipulated by altering the terminology, such as replacing all mentions of morphine with compound A and codeine with compound B. Alternatively, when requesting a synthesis procedure that must be performed in a DEA-licensed facility, bad actors can mislead the agent by falsely claiming their facility is licensed, prompting the agent to devise a synthesis solution. In the remaining two instances, the agent recognized the common names heroin and mustard gas as threats and prevented further information gathering. While these results are promising, it is crucial to recognize that the system's capacity to detect misuse primarily applies to known compounds. For unknown compounds, the model is less likely to identify potential misuse particularly for complex protein toxins where minor sequence changes might allow them to maintain the same properties but become unrecognizable to the model. It is important to note that while the potential for dual use of intelligent agent capable of running scientific experiments is real, fully monitored cloud labs remain a safer choice than simply remote connected machines. Screening, Monitoring and control of safety systems, such as the ones implemented by major cloud lab companies, offer an additional layer of protection from potential misuses or bad actors. All right, guys, we're at the home stretch now. Before we wrap this up, let's revisit the key recommendations that our scientists have put forward, the guardrails, if you will, for the AI and physical sciences community. It's essential we remember when dealing with AI, we need to keep one hand on the wheel. Firstly, Human Intervention Sure, our AI systems are mind-bogglingly smart, but there are times when we need a human's touch to ensure the safety and reliability of the experiments being carried out. That means adding a human-in-the-loop component to review and approve potentially sensitive experiments. I mean, we can't just let an AI run wild with potentially harmful substances or methodologies, right? Second, we need better novel compound recognition. While our current system is great at detecting and preventing the synthesis of known harmful compounds, it's not that hot when it comes to new, unknown compounds. So scientists suggest using machine learning models to spot potentially harmful structures before they even get to the AI. Third, data quality and reliability. Our AI systems are only as good as the data they're fed. 
so to keep them reliable, we need to continuously curate and update the data sources. Only the latest and greatest information should be used for the AI's decision-making process. And lastly, system security. Mixing together large language models and automated experimentation can pose some serious security risks. Our recommendation, implement robust security measures, think encryption and access control. We can't afford unauthorized access, tampering, or misuse of our AI systems. And that's a wrap, folks. Let's take these recommendations to heart as we continue to tread on the path of AI development. Remember, AI is an incredibly powerful tool, but it's just that, a tool. We need to wield it responsibly.